Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at a cell phone lens kit. So it comes with five lenses and there's a different kind. Looks like fisheye, panorama, macro, telescope, and CPL. I guess it's some kind of filter or something. So it comes in in this little pouch bag wrapped around with plastic. Anyways, let's open this thing and see what's inside. Alright, so we got a little instruction manual that popped out. Pretty interesting. It's nice that it comes with a case, I guess, so you don't lose all the pieces everywhere. That's pretty interesting. So it looks like we got a little rag up here to wipe off the lenses. And then the lenses themselves. Oh, there's a little cap on that one. Don't you look at that? Alright, let's get them all out here. Let's see. Oh, each one of them has a cap. Alright, so it looks like you got four lenses so apparently you probably use two of the lenses together to uh, combine them for something all right so the biggest lens here is the fisheye one so let's pop this cover off and take a look at it pretty interesting I wonder if I put it on this camera what it'll see fisheye stuff I guess telephoto lens two times so I guess this doubles the the distance so it looks like all the lenses just screw right on top of here and uh, then you just clip them on your phone. So let's go ahead and try to, I guess we'll start with the big boy here with the, the fisheye one. So it goes on pretty easy. No, no problems. Let's move over to our phone here. Let's see how good this thing can go in there. Not bad. It's kind of weird because it goes right on the screen here. So it pretty much looks like a circle. Uh, I guess it's an interesting view. Could be interesting. Anyways, let's let's pop to this camera or let's go to the phone and we'll uh, record from there. All right, guys. So we are on the phone now, and here you can see we got the fish islands on here, and I'm moving it around to see if it's centered. It's definitely something you gotta play with till you get it just right. It's a little fuzzy around the edges, but not too bad. Let's see if I can get closer. The phone's trying to focus, but I mean, it's an interesting view. You know, it's supposed to be like a wide view, I guess. So this is with it, and then I'm pulling it off. That's without it. Well, that's actually a pretty huge difference. Let's try the telephotic lens here, the times two. So we, technically from this distance, we should be able to see twice as far. All right, guys, so we got the telephoto lens on, and I'm going to try to put it on here, hopefully, without. OK. Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely zooming in. OK, it's kind of hard to line it up here. Looks like no matter where I go, I still have the uh, vignetting from the edges there. So here we are outside with the telephotic lens. That's actually probably a little more fun to use. If you want to zoom into something with still decent quality, I'm guessing. Let's see if we digitally zoom on something. That's pretty good. I could see this being useful. I guess let me do a little test here. So right here we're zoomed out all the way. I'm going to take it off. Ah, not a super huge difference seems like. It should be times two. Okay, let's go to this wide and macro lens next. All right, so I got the times 63 wide and macro lens together on. So we're going to use the wide function first. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's actually pretty decent. It's kind of hard to line this thing up is the weird part. Yeah, so that just makes it a little bit wider than it naturally is. So if I'm uh, looking at this here and I take it off, as you can see, it's quite a bit closer. If I put it on. Okay, I'm unscrewing the wide part, so it should turn into macro now. There we go. Oh, wow, you really have to be close to it. Wow, that's pretty good, guys. 
Yeah, that's, I mean, I'm like centimeters away from this thing. As you can see, that's not too bad. And I can tap on the screen and change my focus back and forth. Let's see if I can back up just a little bit. Interesting. Okay, zooming in, you can definitely tell. Very interesting. All right, so that was fun. Let's put this back on. So now we got the white function back. Anyways, guys, that's pretty fun. So these are fun lenses indeed. I don't really like how there's a vignetting on the edges on most of that, but... All right, guys, so I'm not sure exactly what this lens is for, but I think it has to do something with light coming inside, and it spins. So let's put it on and see what happens. So I'm back up a little bit, and we're going to go over. So we got it on. Let me see if I can just spin it here, see what happens. Okay, something's happening. It's the way the light comes in, as you can see, guys. Okay, so maybe it's a some kind of polarizer or something. Maybe that's what it is. Let's see. Yeah, I think it is. Look at the sky, guys. It changes in the way it reacts to everything. Well, that's an interesting thing. Let's see if we can find something shiny. Well, I guess these lenses are shiny. The glass on top of them. Let's see if we can turn it. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's killing the shine. It's making the shine go away. So it must be a polarizer of some sort. Interesting. Well, that's pretty cool. I can definitely see this one being very useful for pictures, like for Instagram and stuff. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it, I guess, for this video. I mean, anyways, these are definitely fun, and uh, I'm definitely going to use it for my phone once in a while for Instagram pictures and stuff like that. Uh, would I film with it? Probably not. If you want to get one of these, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, check out my other videos, and if you want to see more stuff like this, Hit that subscribe button, and if you like this video, hit the like button. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.